Well, hi, it's nice to talk to you this morning. Um, we learned a lot of, from CONFIRM about the prognostic importance of non-obstructive coronary disease, about the warranty period of CTMDR or B. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about CONFIRM to the rationale and what the clinical need was in designing yeah, it? Absolutely. So we know already for many years that coronary CT is an excellent tool to look at atherosclerosis and to quantify it, to look at stenosis and amount of plaque. But we never had the tools to really quantify the burden. We always used like visual measures uh, of segment involvement score and the cut routes to estimate the real burden of atherosclerosis. But with the ongoing software now and the ability to rapidly quantify atherosclerosis, that's why we started to confirm too, to see what's the real clinical value of uh, atherosclerosis quantification. So CONFIRM2 is a large uh, global registry of um, many thousand patients, patients that underwent a clinically uh, or, uh, indicated coronary CT. Uh, we followed them for uh, major adverse cardiac events and the overall aim of CONFIRM2 was to look at what are the strongest and most important uh, predictors for events because out of this quantification of the atherosclerosis, you can get many variables, high-risk plug features, vas vascular remodeling features, different types of atherosclerosis, but we don't really know what are the most important ones, and especially like uh, how do they relate with uh, standard uh, measures of atherosclerosis, like the cut or the calcium score. So that was the aim to start Confirm2. And can you tell us more about uh, the demographics of the cohort and what they were like? Yeah, so Comfort 2 is, uh, I think, one of the few registries we ha who has more uh, women than men included. Also in this study we have 51% um, uh, women. And for the rest it's just a standard, uh, uh, standard registry uh, uh, risk factors as other uh, CT registries, where patients usually on the lower risk side because they underwent a clinically uh, indicated CT. Uh, with symptoms and uh, hypertension like 60-70%, diabetes 15%, family history, smoking, it's all uh, as expected. But patients at uh, usually a lower uh, amount of risk because of the uh, indication for CT. So these are representative um, yeah. and uh, a global population? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, and what did you find? So the aim of this specific study was to look at the prognostic value for heart events of the new AI quantitative CT compared with the traditional measures of CT. And the most important is like the cut ruts because that's our guide to look at the CT scan. And we also used the calcium score um, and also the Duke coronary artery disease index. And uh, the most important finding of this study is that um, the traditional scores, like the Cartwright's Cosm score, they do predict pretty well, but adding in the quantification of atherosclerosis, consisting of the burden of non-calcified plaque and also the quanti quantitative diameter stenosis, they significantly increase your ability to risk, stri risk stratify for events. So that means that when you take into account, the, for instance, the plaque burden, you can better estimate whether or not that patient, that patient, that patient is going to get a heart attack or is going to die or another uh, major heart event. That's the most important finding of, the, of this uh, study. Yes, and uh, if I recall correctly, you looked at many different variables, over uh, right, 20 variables, and trying to yeah. find those that were significant. Are you surprised yeah. by the findings or uh, is it in yeah. line with your prior work? Yeah, it's so the yeah so the, the two most important uh, variables from the from the QCT, QCT were the non cause for plaque burden and the stenosis. Um, I think it's uh, so that was more important than like individual high risk plaque features. I was not really surprised. I was uh, it was good and uh, reassuring to see that it was the non cause for plaque and not the calcified plaque. Cause for plaque was much less important. Um, I was not surprised, but I was I was it, it was good to see that. Yeah. And uh, were there any uh, findings that were different in women or different subgroups, or um, is, that the, uh, is that something that you'll explore in the future? Yeah, and fortunately for this uh, analysis, we didn't have the power to look in women versus men specifically, but we look and come from to before in uh, differences for men and women. And actually what we saw that was that the plug burden 
was actually even more prognostic in women than in men. So that means that if you have like 100 cubes of plug in uh, women, um, that the risk uh, is even higher than in men for to getting a, a maze event. So that was one prior finding and we hope to do uh, that in larger patients in the future too. And, and then you also look specifically at uh, patients with non-obstructive coronary disease and how yeah. those plaque features uh, yeah. worked in that population. Yeah. yeah, we did that analysis specifically because of the hypothesis that Black burden especially uh, adds incremental value in patients without severe stenosis, but with a lot of black burden. So we did one analysis where we took out the patients with more than 70% stenosis, so more than cutlets 4. And there we indeed see that uh, the atherosclerosis quantification adds significant value and it ac actually adds even more than in the total population. So that reinforces the message that the burden of atherosclerosis is, is really important and the key driver to look at for uh, predicting events. Yes, and even in those patients, irrespective of the calcium score. Yeah, 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 yeah. We saw, we saw that the added increment of value was really large uh, compared with the calcium score. Um, calcium score did predict, absolutely. Uh, like a calcium score more than a thousand had a 10 times higher risk of getting an event. But um, <coughs> adding in the quantification really improved risk gratification. Yeah, even in like also in patients with calcium score of zero. Yeah. And looking at those uh, graphs for major cardiovascular events, uh, the CADRADS, those patients with, um, I believe CADRADS four right, were at the greatest risk. Yeah, true. Yeah. And so what are the next steps uh, for this cohort and for your future work? Yeah, so we need to include more patients uh, because we know in CT studies that the event rates are low because, because probably also because of the new and the good therapy patients receive. Um, so we are keep including patients. Right now we have a new cohort of six and a half thousand patients. So we hope to do more subgroups, like specifically looking in women and men and also in younger patients versus older patients and also ethnic, ethnical, uh, ethnic differences. Our, pay, uh, our study includes from all over the world, so we hope to include more et different uh, ethnicities. That's the aim for uh, the future. And for clinicians out there wondering how, um, how this might be integrated in their practice or um, you know, how they can think about uh, talking to patients about this, I guess what advice would you give that? Yeah, as for the clinicians, I think it, it reinforces that you need to not only look at the stenosis, but look at the, cal the non-calcified plaque. You can use uh, the, qu the quantification software for that because we all know that when you look at the scan, uh, you see the non for plug. It's difficult to quantify. Is it a lot? Is it not a lot? It's, that's where I think the quantification by AI, it's a standardized reproducible measure. It's, it helps so much because especially like calcium plug is easy, right? A calcium score, but non for plug is difficult to, to, to say how much it is just by looking at it. Alex, what makes this registry uh, unique? CONFIRM2 is the largest uh, registry of uh, quantification of atherosclerosis. Um, it used to be a lot of work, so that's why usually in, this, in the uh, literature so far the cohorts are smaller. But now we have the ability to get like larger volumes. And um, yeah, like non calcium for plaque is, is most important. Uh, I think that's yeah, most uh, important from CONFIRM2 registry. Great, well, it was great talking to you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your insights with us. Thank you so much.